Hey folks, this is very good. Welcome back to uh, Bug Snacks. In today's video, we're going to do a couple of different things. Let's hop into our objectives. We are going to do this. We'll get, I go catch ourselves another potato. Wait, what was it? It was a potato. It's it's the there's a baked potato bug. There he is, looking lovely. A little. What is it? <laughs> We may as well grab some others whilst we're here as well, just for the sake of uh, filling in the thing with Jiggy. Ketchup, right? Oh, hot sauce. I'm being stupid. Who's hungry? You're hungry. Rebel bead. Go on, you. Uh, I think you're also hot sauce. Oh, you might be ketchup, actually. It's hard to remember. Well, it worked out way. <laughs> Feel free to just come over here. No, okay. <laughs> what is going on? Of the madness. No! <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Oh, hello. Well, you know what? This worked out quite well, because I don't think I'd have found that otherwise. Oh. Ah, you can just capture it if you knock them out like that as well. That makes sense. That would actually make my life a thousand times easier. All right, you, my good friend, can you come here, please? What do you need? Yep. Come on, Spuddy. Come on. Come on, Spuddy. Spuddy. We're not a catch up. I need to annoy him, get him over there. That is the location I was looking for. That's the, the secret garden, secret ruins for um, Trifony. Come on. Look how annoying I am. Look how annoying I am. <laughs> there we go. Lovely stuff. Oh, what is it? No, Spuddy. No, Spuddy, please. I have other things to focus on now. Oh, it's like he's embarrassed because he didn't get to murder me. Okay, we've got a new new type of hot dog. A shy weenie worm. A, lazy, a lazy little worm. It's only motivated by its hatred of ketchup. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. You may have got away, but... Weenie worm. Only criminals would put ketchup on a weenie worm. <laughs> I kind of agree. I think mustard, relish. You know, that's the kind of thing we're looking for on a weenie worm, personally. Weenie worm. <laughs> okay, so that should be the quest, right? For, um, for what's her face? Let's go talk to her, see if she agrees. <laughs> Somebody's just bumping himself. Oh yeah, I can't do anything for you yet. Yeah, this game feels very weird to play because I've just been playing Hollow Knight. <laughs> Hollow Knight is obviously it's about bugs, but in a very different way than Bug Snacks is. I don't know, I'm, I don't know what's going on with me and my obsession with the second channel so far. I'm so far ahead, I'm like a month ahead in content. If not more. Oh, do you want to be fed it? Let me have a look at that. Wait, I don't have a quest for her. I'm confused. Oh, why was I on? I was on side quests. Whoopsie daisy. Got you a weenie worm. Um, sure. <laughs> it is neat. But the bun looks nice. The taste is a little off. I'm wondering how long those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. 
You might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to uh, stay out here with the bones. When you're married. <laughs> Can I tell her that? Yeah, okay. Oh, my sweet dear. I guess the big lug really misses me. Why well, miss him too? But I'm still mad. I thought maybe time would help. But time's just pushing me closer to the grave. And I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Hooray, we did it. Yeah, you can't hide from your problems, Triffany. Get back there. Sort them out. Right, we can't do anything else here. Feeling pretty good that we've got most of the bug snacks in this area. We might There might be some missing. Actually, we can check, can't we? Missing three. That will be the one that looks like a tablecloth. Whatever it is. I actually haven't caught one of the, um, the, the barbecue ones either. Hmm. Can I? Bunger. Where are you, Bunger? I need a scorpion. I need a Bunger. That's two that I know I need. What else I need? Oh, hello. Okay. Do you think, Sprout? Sprout? <laughs> Wait, Sprout? Where have you gone? Hey, buddy. What is that? Green peel bug. It hides inside the crate. Okay, cool. So we've got. Oh, can I just crap it? I'm gonna do this. Just in case. Nice. That was fortunate. <laughs> just kind of. Yeah. I know. See a hole? Put your put your strawberry in it. Yep. <laughs> As the old saying goes. I don't remember where I saw the bunger. So I haven't been down here. Oh, that's shortcut. Bunga, where are you, buddy? Bunga, 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 bunga. Oh wait, it's up top, isn't it? Let's go grab a bunga before we go. Oh, it's because it's a barbecue bunga. That's the that's the key, you see. Barbecue bunga, 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 barbecue. <laughs> uh, although I thought it was on its own. Where, where the hell is it? Am I going crazy? I mean, it's definitely one here. I just saw it. That's a sweet fry. It's a potato. These are very weird words I'm saying. <laughs> Popcorn, pop chip, whatever they're called. I do not remember where the bunker is. Not a freaking clue. Maybe it only comes out certain times a day. That could be it, actually. I thought it was around here. Oh, we'll go for now. It's fine. We made good progress. Good start to the video. We can check what Wiggle does at midnight. I don't feel good spying on people, trying to get the dirt on them, you know. Feels a little bit, well, dirty, I suppose. I'm already so dirty anyway. <laughs> New Simon Ghost Stories. Oh, they had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Love, Triffany. Triffy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. <laughs> I wasn't gonna give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. I just hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. <laughs> What's that now? Nothing. Aww, I'm happy for these two. These crazy kids worked it out. This Philbo's little toy. 
Oh my god, it's adorable. Put it on the bed for you, Philbo. <laughs> Little froggy! Hello, I love it! Oh god, he's got multiple froggies. All of them will go on the bed. Together, <laughs> the frog army shall rise. Take a photo of the frog. Philbo collects beanbag dolls. Cute. Suckers used to hoard these because they thought they'd be worth money someday. Yeah, well, bean Beanie Babies very much uh, went through that. Triffy really re reminds me of a um, collection of Bunsen's, Beakers, and Besselheims. Floofy uses them for science, apparently. Uh, she reminds me of a um, fully intact skeleton brought in from the desert. Cause of death unknown. Of, um, ah, what's it called? Fargo! Fargo. I watched Fargo finally, the, the film version, fairly recently, and uh, she's very, very reminiscent of Ooh, the accents in Fargo. Now, first of all, I'm running out of ketchup. That's hot sauce. First of all, I'm running out of ketchup. Second of all... <laughs> Hello, buddy. Ah. Oh. Wait, so... It, oh, it doesn't count. I thought it would be. Is it because it's been cooked already? That's like the best Hello. I've got. Hey, well, I may as well donate it then. Okay. I mean, it's a potato! Why doesn't a potato count? <laughs> Look at the... Oh, it's got to rank. Um, I'm surprised at that. Oh well. <sighs> Another fine day behind us. You said it, buddy. Let me just check my mail first. I got a map. That's cool. Hey there. Hi there. I thought you might need this map to help navigate the tricky trails of Snacktooth. You know, it feels kind of weird being back in civilization. Cool. Hey. According to my research, shy weenie worms just can't stand ketchup. I cannot see how much... Sc oh, okay. That's a pretty chill little mission. Is this a item that I put up? Or do I get like a map? Like a better map? I already had a map. Oh, I can fast travel. Cool. Didn't know that. Okay. Uh, not totally sure what the point of the map was. Because I already had a map. Maybe maybe it's another one that we just need to wait until we actually have a wall, for example, <laughs> before we can do much else. I'm going to follow you hey at midnight, there. Wiggles. I'm sorry. It's kind of uh, weird, but... Nothing like How's it going? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. <laughs> Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Ah, oh, screw it, let's do it. Snacksburg is look seems like a great Time for another party. Hey, you know what? It's picking oh, up a little bit. Nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Getting two more. Sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? <laughs> no, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to, though. This is, <laughs> this is a little creepy. Um... Millhouse. It's all coming up, Millhouse, okay. That looks like firewood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I, I kind of expected to turn around the corner and nobody would be there, if I'm honest. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. <laughs> Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the borns. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump shrimp. Now hold on. You saying Grumpus has turned cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Philbo! Oh, grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Just looking so expectantly at me. Philbo! Buddy! Philbo! Oh, whoa. Philbo? Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked and, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. What are you up to, Philbo? Whoa. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting, uh, like, X-Files um, vibes, but sure. Very peculiar. Sorry what I get see. about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. <laughs> Where did that come from? She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. <laughs> we, we, no need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, uh, something safe. Probably. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. 
We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Come on then, Philbo. Brought me into this nonsense. It's on you, buddy. If I die. This is a little it's a little a little spooky. It's a little Oh hey. It's a it's a dude in a cab. It's hench. Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. Bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! <laughs> but, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. We'll get him, Philbo. Don't you worry about it, buddy. As a fellow hench person. <laughs> what time is that? I don't know, it's not part of it today, really. I wonder what that is. <laughs> she still just dances. <sighs> ah, bless her. Just in don't case. worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um. Oh, and and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know. The Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. She just carries that bloody arm around with her everywhere. <laughs> well, it's a brand new day. Oh, hey, it's open. Oh, cool, new location. Sweet. Hey, Triff. In a few times. Well, let's chat first. You know, we are the fifth major group to settle here. Looks like Grumpuses have been rediscovering bug snacks for millennia. Is there no concern there about, you know, what happened to the Grumpuses in the past, though? What happened to the first four groups? Oh, sure. Sounds like a real hoot. It's going to be hoot. <laughs> I love her. She's my favorite. Well, no, Phil does my favorite. Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. She it's loves usually that arm. not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Oh goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there, try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Bronica, Lotta Blog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Bramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. 
but he wouldn't give up his farm. Not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gale, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Ladablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. People need to worry about Echabelle more. She's not here. Also, adventurer would be like a dream job, wouldn't it? It'd be so cool. It's a hard job to make a money job. <laughs> it's a hard job to full on exist. I think you have to be an adventurer who basically produces TV programs and explores cool places. It's hard to be like a full on adventurer in the way that you could be 150 years ago. You know what I mean? You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. It's a little morbid. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with <laughs> She's it. She's always pushing Anywho, a booty out. I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Alright, cool. I don't... It's, it's, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Okay. Uh, doo -doo. Looks like I need to weigh down the pressure plates in order. First left. Interesting. Okay. Uh, right, so let me have a look at my quest chain thing, Majiggy. Our major quests is the important thing, really. Cold feet. So we need to get the, the, the bob scores that we're trying to work this out. Okay, so I've got to return 12 grumps. Six more to go. Halfway through. All these aren't. So we've still got some side quests as well. Um, sub sandipedes we can't get. That one we can do. That one I haven't found one yet. And that one we've done. We need to go talk to... Uh... Oh no, it's already done. So we've got these three. Okay. Um, well, I will just come back for the midnight. That's more of a point. Let's go check out this uh, new location. Although I've got mail. Let's go check the mail first. And then we'll... Uh, add... <laughs> I feel bad for oh, I don't want to just spy on Wiggle. <laughs> I feel bad. Shaking, baby. Oh. I'm not the biggest fan of getting spooked, but I'm lucky I've got a friend like you to keep my courage up. Oh, sorry, no. Well, look at the little thingy. Can I put it somewhere? I want to. I want to. My baby. I got a little baby. Maybe on that. Yeah. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, my God. It's a little. It's a little Philbo. It looks like a frog. I think it's meant to be a grumpus, but it looks like a frog. It's adorable anyway. I'm in love. How you doing? I'm good, buddy. How you doing? See you later. Fluffy. He's the. He's the. Uh... Jesus Christ, Triffany. <laughs> the science guy, seemingly. Oh, wait, is he not the one that we met when we were in the beach? Sugar Pine Woods. Holy world. What are these? Honey. <laughs> I heard honey is sometimes used in medicine. So it's healthy. That's that's how it works, Chandler. Snack Crabbler. I don't know what that is. Okay, so there's a nighttime bug snack. Good to know. Hooky, so fast that it evades capture. There must be a way to trip it up. Quirk, 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 Um. I can't think of anything. Wait, wait, what if I do this? Is this nonsense? Let's find out. <laughs> Who knows, folks? Who knows? Cookie's on the move. 
by a genius? No, Quirky loved it, unfortunately. <laughs> Quirky absolutely loved it. Ah, pain. Oh, we've got a new source. What's this? Oh, peanut. Oh, God, I love peanut butter. Man, I will. Oh, hello. Very low, very sticky. It likes to stay far out of reach, but it loves chocolate. So maybe we can work on that. What's it called? Sinus now. Oh, cinnamon as well. So many delicious things. I'm so hungry. Oh no, come on, Sinus Snail. It's okay. Come on, Sinus Snail. to get the cookie because I you know, said it's so fast it evades capture but clearly it doesn't because I just caught it <laughs> you I can't seem to get however right, well, how do I get you stick to anything including traps so do we not just do what we did in the other place and do this but a bit better than that maybe let's try it out Yeah, all right, that works. Let's do a few of these. Just gonna grab all of them, actually. Honeybee. Honeybee. I wonder if this works with the snail. Can we just do this for like every uh, every single book snacks in the game? It's a pretty good technique. Oh, that didn't work. Couldn't lock on for some reason. Keep stocking up. Oh god, I just want like a tub of peanut butter. <laughs> I would make my day right now. Yeah, we can donate most of them anyway, right? Honabi! I'm gonna try it. I don't think it's gonna work. But we'll try it. It's definitely not gonna work if I'm an idiot. <laughs> Stay! I really don't think this will work, but we'll try it. No. Never mind. Let's have. Oh, hello. Mallow patch. Just greet crappy. Ma oh, no. I think that's the one I needed. That isn't that the popsicle thing? Yeah, freezes anything that touches it. There must be a way to melt its icy armor. Okay. Hot sauce. Is that going to do it? Oh no! He's fuming! Ah! Popsicle. <laughs> Popsicle, please! Okay, well, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Oh, hello. Sprout, you knew what to do, buddy. I don't really know what to do with this one. Get in there. Get around that corner. Okay. Popsicle, no! <laughs> Maybe I can find the hole on the other side and scare something out if I... Hmm. That looks destructible, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, the grappler thing. Ah, uh, Nebby! I don't know. I don't know. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Sprout. We'll figure it out later, buddy. Ah, uh, Well, basketball, obviously. One of Chandler's orange sport orbs. Can I... Am I meant to be able to get around like this? I don't know, but either way. Okay. 
Nothing but net, baby. Oh, and the crowd goes mild. Okay. Is there a benefit to this? I don't know. Maybe there is. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why am I here again? I don't know, actually. I'm just kind of here. Exploring. Can I push this over? No. Alright, let's keep exploring. Okay, did not expect to be able to get this high up. I, I hear something saying sprinkles. Sprinkle, 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 pee. Wing bush. Hiding bush. I push that small. Wait, no. I hear something. There's something right next to me. Why am I here, first of all? Is there something to scan? I meant to maybe chuck something at that? No, that's not it. I think. I feel like there's a. a thing that I can get. Like an item that's going to help me grab things, and I just don't have it yet, and that's the main problem. Who wants sprinkles? Is it above me? Something wants sprinkles. I mean, I want sprinkles. Oh, hey! Oh, a sprinkle peed. Let's get you down from there, buddy, okay? Oh, there, there it goes. It's on the freaking move. <laughs> Is it coming back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sprinkle peed? Buddy? Oh, hey. Sprinkle peed? <laughs> oh, it came back. Okay. <laughs> Let's try a different location for the sprinkle bead. Uh me to do that. Does it also love peanut butter? Is that peanut butter? It is, alright, grand. It's an eater. <laughs> You're very hard to come back down here. Ah! Come here! What are you doing? You're a mad lass! Oh, never mind. Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandlo, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. Bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! <laughs> no, what? what? You cannot <laughs> lift my entire house! I bet he can. Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlow. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, <laughs> dog! <laughs> there, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chandlow. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? Bro, it's sweet it's as fuck. It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. 
I'm Chandlo Funkbun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? I feel you, Holmes. Snorpy's my tightest bro, you feel me? We've been together since before this whole adventure thing. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> okay. This looks warm. I'm wondering if this is relevant to the, um... To the, uh, that thing down there. The scorpion. Not scorpion, whatever the hell it is. Ooh, that Sinner Snail's in an interesting position. I don't know how I would get there, though. Wait, can I not? Let me, let me try this. I don't think this will work, but we'll give it a go. I mean, it worked, but... Uh... Ah! It worked, but it sort of didn't work. Because there's no way for me to get over there. No, but there is a basketball. We'll figure it out later. It's fine. Right, let's go talk to Snorpy. <laughs> which is a very normal standard name for someone to have. Thank you very much. Snorpy has managed to fit every single conspiracy into one paranoid blob. Not natural. Why? Radio towers, chemtrails, I want to believe, X Files references. Grumpinati, of course. And I think that might be a lost reference over there. Uh, oh, you've eaten a snail. Teach me how to eat the snails. Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? <laughs> hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. I guess that's why there's basketballs everywhere. Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. <laughs> arms out. You know, he's hench. That's how we walk. I say we, I haven't worked out in a bloody month. Well, I've worked out twice this week. But that still feels like I'm slapping. Oh, you just broke the... Chandler, for God's sake. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. <laughs> They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorpy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, I've done one already, apparently. Oh! Nice shot, bro! Bro. Okay, so I think that'll work now. What I was trying to... I wonder if I can... Let me try it, actually. We can very easily try this. Wait, if I... Activate. Then do this. Nice! Okay, so, let's try that again. Actually, well, let's just finish the quest first, and then we know what to do anyway. Oh, damn. Come here. Come on! Can you cheeky... <laughs> no! Come on, nothing but net, baby. Nothing but net. Huh. Yeah! I ain't need that one. Nothing but net. Ow. No, I'm, just, I'm sorry, Chandler. All right, you got my balls back. That grapple thing is awesome. It is. I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro. Check it out. There's a cinna snail right over there. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs, but it's actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey, see if you can catch me that sin snail, bro. Bro. 
Right, can I just full on? No, okay. <laughs> I didn't think that would work, but it's, it's worth checking. Um, it's interesting because the game actually doesn't explain much to you. Like, it's not telling me. How... It's not telling me how to get there. You know, it's not. It's not getting interesting actually directly telling me. Which is good. Do I have to feed it? I kind of want to keep it. Bro. Bro. Oh, yeah. I feel stronger already. Oh, we're not Watch Keto, me are we? climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. <laughs> what a beast. How do I get out then? <laughs> Ah, right. Alright, cool. Opened up new possibilities. It's always fun. I'll, uh, I'll go, I'll do, I'm, I'm, uh, oh, whoa, what is, what is, oh, it's on fire. That's relevant to my life. Charmalo, it's adorable. Right, uh, you say it's like peanut butter? Yeah, okay, so can I? <laughs> Charmalo! Charmalo! This way, Charmalo. Again. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, but that's not the big one. Interesting. Popsicle. Oh, it's so cute. Listen to it. I don't know if you can anymore. Chamalo! It's adorable! Chamalo, try again. Come here, buddy. I think I can get it. Chamalo! Chamalo! Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> um. Um. Okay, so clearly we need to use the ice or something to put it out. Maybe into the water? Is the water anywhere nearby? Yeah, this this might be relevant. Hmm. Ciao, Milo! <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, I love them. Right, well, it's a good time to end things. So we're going to come back, obviously, next video, talk to them again, try to catch this Ciao, Milo. And I'll tell you what, while we're here, actually, we'll donate some stuff stock up again on things. This is maybe the only mechanic I don't like. I feel like having to resupply feels a bit pointless and we may as well just be allowed to just always have max. I don't I don't see any reason to not do that, but Go on, Charwe. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or or don't. That's fine too. We're off to a bit of a slow start. It went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwe the ropes. What do you say? Hey, buddy. Hey, um, okay. Right, I'm just gonna nip in here so it resets or saves, whatever. And uh, we'll go talk to Chandlo and see what we can do about this. Well, about all the other different things here. Ciao, Milo! <laughs> oh, deep, unabiding love. Scan seven as we're missing three. So yeah, I've caught the little one, but I haven't caught the big one. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. I don't know if I could have caught it when I first set it on fire. Maybe. Uh, that's a pill bug thing. 
appeal book. So that's probably in that hole that we saw earlier. What's that ladder mean? Out of curiosity. Hmm. Charmello! <laughs> 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Water or ice. Yeah. Maybe I can get it into the water somehow. And I think we can probably get that one as well. Right, we'll end it there. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.